Hello. Uh, welcome uh, to the Jenkins governance meeting. Today is October 21st. And finally, we are back to the common schedule of governance meetings. So starting uh, from this week, uh, we will be uh, doing meetings uh, every two weeks. Uh, and it will be aligned with the LTS process. So today we have uh, several items in our agenda. We will talk about recent news, about the election status, updating officer definitions, also market the topic about EPFA video, and Alisa wanted to discuss uh, uh, Jenkins comics uh, straight. Is there anything else we need to discuss today? Okay, then let's continue. So the first news, uh, October 1st. So big news is that only 10 days left. So if you haven't uh, participated in Hacktoberfest yet, please consider doing so. Uh, we still have a lot of uh, newcomer friendly issues. We also have documentation and a number of featured projects. Several of them have been added uh, during uh, Hacktoberfest. And if you're interested, you're welcome uh, to contribute to any of them. Um, and you can find more information on this page. Uh, also, yesterday we had a new weekly release. So this one, right? So it's 2.263, and hopefully this release stabilized uh, the infrastructure because before that we had uh, several releases in all these bad community ratings due to regressions. But now it's finally stabilized, and uh, it's actually a good thing because uh, we have just started. Um, LCS baseline selection. So we are discussing what will be the next LCS baseline after 2.249. And if you have any feedback, please uh, participate in this thread and a bit of it, uh, other folks will be happy to discuss. Okay, going back to weekly release outage, uh, Mark, would you like to share something? Sure, so we, we made a mistake yesterday uh, the mistake was an interesting one and complicated. We're not clear. We're still investigating why. What happened was Jenkins 2.263 weekly was built successfully. So its release, it released to the artifactory was worked okay. The packaging process, however, did not complete. Part of the packaging process blocked on a Windows container problem that we have in the infrastructure that needs work. Uh, however, it had been published to all Jenkins users of Weekly as being available in Weekly. So they attempted to download it, and their attempt to download failed because it was not yet visible to them. Um, Olivia Vernin is going to publish some comment notes on the retrospective from that, and we will work to improve it so that we get better at doing those weekly releases. This is the first time we've had a weekly release hiccup like this since we started doing core release automation. Our apologies, we'll work on it and get better in the future. Clearly this is not a big problem. Um, well, it's just a rolling release and the work files have been available immediately. So there's right. well, didn't even notice so that there is an issue. Well, and, and the Docker images were available mm -hmm. shortly after the, after the war files. The gap was in the Debian package, the Red Hat mm -hmm. package, the SUSE package and the Windows and MSI installer. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah. So the release is ready for evaluation and any feedback will be appreciated. Okay, uh, yeah, more about releases. So Oliver uh, has made an announcement in the developer mailing list uh, about uh, stepping down from the release officer role. So first of all, thanks to Oliver for his contributions. Oliver has been uh, leading uh, the release team, well, even before there was a release team. So for eight years since uh, basically the beginning of Jenkins and the modern release automation, after the Hudson infrastructure was redeployed. And yeah, uh, in, now in the release team, uh, uh, we will need uh, to work together in order to re-establish release candidate testing flow to, and also as a part of predictions, there is a number of nominations uh, for the release officer position. So they definitely will be uh, election in November. And uh, we invite all contributors uh, to participate and to help uh, the new release officer uh, to pick up uh, the role. But 
hopefully this uh, better stream, etc. It uh, will basically business as usual for Jenkins users. I do not anticipate that uh, there will be uh, major changes in how we deliver uh, uh, Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any comments, additions? I would like to uh, thank Alyssa for all of the amazing things she has done for this community. And uh, it's just it's just super amazing. And I thank you also to Olivia Chinas. Thank you as well for the amazing work that, that both of you have done. Thanks, Marky. Um, I'm still around, not going anywhere. Oh. I'll still be here to help out. That makes me happy. Oh, rotation of officers and uh, board members is actually a sign of a healthy community. And it's natural to expect uh, that uh, um, officers leading to these uh, roles uh, can take vacations, can take breaks. And yeah, I think that uh, everything happens quite smoothly. So, yeah. From the community perspective, just big thanks uh, to you, uh, to Oliver and also to Alex, uh, steps down from the board role. Uh, but, I believe that we're in a good state to just uh, continue the effort and to ensure that uh, there will be uh, some transitions of all these roles. And I totally forgot, Alex, and I do apologize. That was not intentional. Uh, thank you for everything that you have done, Alex. You are totally an invaluable member of this community. Thank you very, very much. Plus one for me. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I'll still be around a little bit too. So you don't have to get rid of me that easily. So put away your shovels, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's keep working. And again, uh, elections, um, yeah, basically just uh, let's switch to other topics. So yeah, elections uh, are on. Uh, there are some uh, shifts in dates. Um, so, as it was announced, uh, we will delay publishing of the list of candidates to 26 or maybe one or two days later. Uh, basically, it doesn't change anything significant in our process because the voting begins only on November 10th. So, the intention was to publish uh, the uh, uh, candidates uh, a bit earlier so that uh, participants can uh, see all the candidates. Uh, but yeah, uh, twin, uh, date of 22nd uh, has no significant importance in terms of the process. These, uh, these dates are quite hard. These days, okay, we'll adjust. Still, we've got uh, quite a number of nominations. Right now, uh, the uh, elections committee uh, works uh, with uh, candidates in order to get confirmations, get statements, and then we will be preparing a final announcement. Most likely this time it will be on Jenkins IO or maybe in a Google Doc like in previous year. Uh, yeah, this uh, is coming soon. And yeah, the deadline for nominations is over. So if you want to nominate someone, it's probably too late. Uh, well, uh, the governance board uh, deserves its right to uh, add additional uh, candidates. But yeah, from what I can tell, uh, there is no strict need to do that right now. So we've got uh, quite a number of nominations. Thanks to everyone uh, who reached out to the board. Uh, yeah, right now it's rather processing. And yeah, the separate part of the process is actually about uh, voting because I can say for sure that even on this call, not everybody has uh, registered for voting. And yeah, if you haven't registered yet, uh, if you want to participate in the elections, the deadline is November 2nd. So, I mean, we can ask uh, participants to sign up. Uh, we will uh, be doing some additional steps as discussed at the last meeting to uh, increase the uh, number of registrations and to outreach to plugin maintainers and other contributors. Uh, because, yeah, right now we've got uh, registrations, but uh, we would like uh, to have uh, more voters because we know for sure that uh, there are thousands of contributors eligible to participate in the voting. Basically, if you did any contribution, whether it's got or not, until September 1st, you're eligible. Uh, but, yeah, uh, 
number of registration definitely doesn't represent this number. It's common for other communities, but we still uh, want to have more. Any, Any questions or uh, auditions? Oh, oh, is there a way for me to decode if I have registered or not? I assume there is not. So the safest is send another registration and you'll just reject it if it's already well, been submitted. If you do the form, it will tell you you've already you've already filled out the form. Yeah, good. Thank so, you. yeah, this is specifically the reason why we use Google form with enabled email tracking, because this is our way to ensure that the form is submitted only once. Uh, well, uh, there is still opportunity to submit it uh, multiple times from different accounts, but uh, in the form we explicitly ask you to confirm that you will be voting only once, and we will be doing additional scrap uh, of uh, voters before we uh, send out ballots. So, well, you can just uh, log in and vote. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alex. Oh. Oleg, just a question. Thank you, Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, just a question. I am just testing the voter form. I'm doing it through Safari and Chrome. And when I click on the link, it is giving me an error. Firebase hosting proxy page link error. No idea. OK. So if you could uh, report it uh, to Jenkins to Southern Frank Elections, we could take a look at that. Okay, thank uh, you. But yeah, I tested in uh, a few browsers, etc., and I haven't seen any problems. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, I just tested. That's why I stopped screen sharing for a few uh, seconds. Okay. Still, if you're not uh, comfortable with email tracking, you can have an option to just send email uh, to the Jenkins to some current elections at Google Groups, and basically the process is the same. It will be just handled in a manual way. Okay, that's all about elections. Anything else? Okay. Then updating officer uh, role definitions. This is a follow-up uh, to the previous meeting. So at the previous meeting, I did a just-in-time pull request uh, a few minutes before the meeting happened. And we didn't uh, vote on accepting the change. But now I think that actually the change is ready to be considered uh, for integration. And uh, I wonder whether other participants uh, had a chance to review it. Still did not. Uh, I will do tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, then uh, process question: um, Do we need uh, formal uh, governance uh, meeting approval to measure the changes, or is it fine that we reach a consensus and the pull request? Yes. Yeah. Right now, Olivia confirmed. Mark confirmed. Uh, we discussed changes with Alisa. So I guess Alice is also fine with changes for event officer. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. So assuming that we get confirmation from uh, Daniel, uh, Oliver's role uh, didn't change too much. I mean, almost didn't change. It's yet to be defined later when we work on this candidate testing, etc. So if uh, Daniel and Bort approve, I think that we could go forward with merge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mark, on the assumption that Alex will that Alex's concerns that caused him to to request changes have been addressed. I believe it was something minor like maybe making a mistake. Oh, actually it's a small tweak which was yeah so addressed. so then I think I think pull request approval is should be called considered sufficient. Mm -hmm. And 
we are taking the announcement from Oliver. I do not anticipate a response in the pull request. So I forwarded it. Uh, this has up a, a while ago. Okay. So, um, yeah, anything else uh, with regards to role updates? So, one topic which might make sense to discuss. It's a, yeah, it will follow up with Daniel because yeah, there are some uh, concerns about it. Is about uh, onboarding of contributors. So right now, what I've done, I introduced a new section for general responsibilities, and there is uh, mentorship and knowledge sharing within the team to ensure a healthy officer rotation in the project. With opportunity for team leads to move on to other roles or take a break. So uh, when we were discussing uh, 2020 election uh, retrospective, well, there was feedback, I guess, from Marky that you should rather have uh, shadow officers. I fell short of uh, proposing it explicitly, though yeah, I added this text. And yeah, my question to you, Mark, is whether it works for you or whether you would prefer something more explicit. Was this for Mark or Marky? Marky. This looks good. We can probably keep it to this. And again, this document can be modified later. So I just felt it's important to update it before the elections. No, this looks very good. Mm -hmm. Then let's keep it to this. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh, put some notes later. Sh uh, should we move on uh, to the PFI video? Mark, could yeah. you please summarize the topic? Or Alisa? I think I can. Alyssa will certainly correct me if I make a mistake. Fair enough, Alyssa? Sounds good. Okay, so in the July 30th governance meeting, we reviewed a proposal for a draft of a video to highlight uh, Jenkins and how Jenkins is used in sort of a fun cartoon kind of way. That video is now ready. The ready for publishing link there is a link to that video. Um, it had been discussed also in advocacy and outreach. And what we would we think we would like to do is place this on the Jenkins.io page using placing it below the Jumbotron, but above the blog posts, it will probably require some changes to the Haml to allow us to embed this. It would be actually hosted on YouTube, but displayed here that placing it in that location where it's on screen now is all like showing it means it will be tend to be below the fold for the, diff, the typical reader of this page, but still trying to get it as visible to them as we can without, without disrupting the top level page or the jumbotron. So you're saying it will go below the jumbotron? Right, so it'll be, it, my thought was it's either above the, the six sort of blue dots or just below them and above the calendar. So it would be above recent blog posts in the section that's visible on the screen now. I, I didn't want to put it right front and center because I think the simple elegant layout of the topmost section of this page is exactly the right thing. And I don't want to displace the jumbotron. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Okay. I think that's, that's more than sufficient if we can just get it like below the jumbotron or above the calendar in that area anywhere it would be perfect do you plan all only the video also some content in addition to the video i had not planned on anything more than the video it's a good question though should we consider a blog post or something to because Alyssa's submitted one blog post already and we've got another one pending we, we've got a blog post that just arrived for for Jenkins is the way and we could consider highlighting one or more other Jenkins is the way topics 
as yeah. part of a blog post to introduce that video. No reason we couldn't put it in two locations, right? We can embed it in multiple places. We could put it top of a blog post as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can uh, do both. That's fine. Speaking of that, uh, automation on Jenkins IO is broken because the, the GitHub app is no longer operational. Oh, oh that's why the, the automatic labeling isn't isn't magically appearing. Yeah, mm, I uh, felt an issue a few days ago. So basically, GitHub changed the APIs and uh, the app is no longer operational. And uh, if I ever get to that, uh, I would rather move to GitHub action or somebody else uh, could contribute. Just, yeah, there is no need to keep an app for this particular use case. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so just for other copy editors, basically uh, automation is not fully functional. And yeah, it also impacts, for example, governance docs, because right now we don't have governance label here automatically injected. So our documentation for copy editors, uh, please do not uh, attach governance documents also is have functional. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, so we it's not a big deal, but still. what issue was that again, Oleg? Uh, well the uh, GitHub app we were using for automatic labeling is broken. Okay, 3872. Yeah. Well yeah basically you can just take something from the marketplace, uh, move configuration file to the new format and everything will start working. And this format is actually quite close to what we use now. So, well, it's not a big deal to fix it if somebody wants to work on it. Okay. And we have just, we have merged to one blog post, right? Merged one yesterday, still have, have more, to, more to review. Yes. Okay. So okay. there's, I have one blog post that talks about the Jenkins Awards winner. Are we okay? Am I, is there something else that I need to do in that one? I need to actually, I need to update the date of that one. Mm -hmm. And I want to do a review of it before we post, Alyssa. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mark. I'm still not 100% comfortable about the text because I wanted uh, to make it explicit that it's basically not a Jenkins official award. It's a uh, Cloud Biz Award, but mm -hmm. we still appreciate that it uh, happens. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to uh, make it explicit uh, here so that uh, there is no confusion. Mm -hmm. So do you want me to go back in and change the content mm. a little bit more to make I, it clear? I approved uh, the previous change because mm, right now yeah, it's through sponsorship. Yeah, maybe we could uh, shift it a bit more. Okay. Just, well, so in principle, this award was reviewed uh, use advocacy and outreach seek. Uh, at least with some members. I don't recall what was the process. I guess everyone was invited, uh, but yeah. So maybe it's something for you, Mark, if you have a uh, better wording uh, in mind as native speaker, you can just put it. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking, Oleg, is I'm gonna go do a review and I'll, mm -hmm. I'll negotiate and discuss with Alyssa and, and we'll get this, move this along. I, I like the concept mm -hmm. and I think your concern is, is worth considering and we see if we can find some minor phrasing changes. I'll listen, I will yep. care up on it. Okay. Yeah, right. But anyway, thanks, Alyssa, for doing that because we yeah, are promoting all these events is important. Yeah. And yeah, also maybe somebody can put it uh, open drop. Social media cover is a good thing. Okay. Okay. So anything else on the APFA video? Uh, I actually, I would, I, if, if the board is okay with it, I'd like to ask for a, a vote to say for approval on that. Is our, it, has there been enough conversation about it to ask for a vote, Oleg, or do I need to wait for a, another meeting? Does everyone have enough information to vote? Yeah, I think we can vote. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, this topic has been around since August, I guess. It was a few iterations. So I think that well, I have never heard any specific uh, minus one about publishing the video. There were some changes noticed and uh, made already in the video. So I think that's very quite fine. Okay, so who is plus one? on the market <laughs> non-binding plus one okay well, for us uh, actually everything is binding because everyone has equal vote okay so yeah that's it so it's approved thank you i'll submit the poll request thank you mark okay. Okay, so the next thing is about uh, commit strip, right? Yeah. So um, we have had two Jenkins comic strip released, well, since the beginning of the year until now. So we're working on a third one and um, trying to figure out if the team has any suggestions for a topic. Um, if we don't, we were thinking that right now a topic is working from home. So we can use that if there's no other suggestion. But I like to get suggestions from the team if possible. Even uh, not uh, the third coming strip, I believe they will be more later. So any suggestions so would be welcome. I like the working from home idea. Okay. I think that'll resonate with a lot of people especially since everyone is doing it now. Right. Working from the office. <laughs> Just Oleg. Oleg. By yourself, right, Oleg? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So okay. thinking of other possible, to I love working from home. Are there any sort of hot buttons in the current industry that might be worth considering as another? I'm all for working from home, but Hacktoberfest has been one. Um, are there other things like that that we might that might be fun or enjoyable? Yeah, Hacktoberfest is a bit too late. Uh, oh. Same for DevOps World, CD. Right, right. You're right. So the next uh, major event we have on the list is FOSDOM. FOSDOM is on the January, February. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So doing FOSDOM from home is also quite an experience uh, for Camus trip. But right. That's true. Working from home and recording your conference talks from home with like all your kids jumping around and the dogs and cats going crazy. I can see something really funny there. Okay. Okay. So. Right, and doing their keynote in your in the, the garage, the basement, or out in the street, right? <laughs> Yeah, and I tried to do that street thing. That was not an easy thing to do. So that, he made that work really, really good. Well, he got lucky because he, he had somebody else that was recording him. But I, I did hear that there were some times where he almost got ran over. So <laughs> oh my <laughs> good goodness. Idea. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't know if you guys see uh, saw a, um, I don't know if this was part of the keynote, but there was a guy that was doing his keynote in his garage and it looks like a, a wood uh, working garage. So there's like lots of boards and wood in the background. And I thought that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. yes. in there. Okay, okay. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll We'll make it a go. We'll try to get something together for the first draft and then I'll share it when we'll use the mm -hmm. work from home idea. Well, we have uh, Jenkins selections. Uh, probably it could be a topic uh, if it could be done quickly. Uh, say that again, Oleg. Like, I'm sorry, uh, there's uh, county Jenkins, in my house. Uh, yeah, Jenkins selections. Uh huh. So. Well, I'm not sure whether it could constitute a good a common strip, but okay. if there is a chance that it 
promotes uh, registrations. Why not? No. Yeah. To be feasible, it should be published, uh, let's say, uh, by November 10th. November yeah. 10th. Oh. Maybe even uh, earlier because it really makes sense to do it before the voter registration ends. Right. Yeah, I, I, that, that feels, I'd be really amazed if they could hit that kind of a schedule. That would be truly impressive. So, oh. so we would want the, the, so if we go with the Jenkins selection topic, then we would want the, the comic to be out by November 10th. Am I understanding right? Well, in principle, yes. So it could be after December 3rd. So when the results are announced. Okay. So it's uh, rather uh, like uh, what you want uh, uh, to promote. Well, okay. well, elections is still probably not that public topic in terms of, yeah, this is a community matter. It doesn't, uh, well, if you are not worried about a community, you're just a user, then mm -hmm. yeah, probably it's not too relevant. Okay. Yeah, I think I think work from home is much more likely to resonate with the audience than yeah. than something funny about administering the Jenkins project. Yeah, and I think the work from home would uh, last longer in terms of its um, what is that word? Yeah, the yeah the resonating it will last longer versus I think you'll be dated. We yeah. do with the the selection. Yeah, uh, working from home is definitely something we should do. Okay. Yeah, uh, I agree. And it, it's unfortunate that I think that you're right. It, it's sad that I think that COVID-19 is going to keep even people who are working from, yeah, yes. But also the current, current political climate, I think if we put that elections in a joking you know, sort of light, it may be taken the wrong way by somebody, even though we all here know that that would not be right. But somebody even, could be like, what are you making jokes about elections for in a comic? This is not a laughing man. I can just see that happening. Good, good, good advice. Yeah. Okay. I like that idea, though. <laughs> mm. We Maybe we can make a joke of it out of it, like subtly, like a poster on the wall. Yeah, like a, or or like a, a, a one in the comic, one of the screens on somebody's you know CRT in the background has you know something <laughs> about the Jenkins elections on there. Yeah, that's a great idea, Alyssa. Okay. Cool, cool, good. Thank you so much. Okay. So, mm, am I screen sharing? No. Okay, so anything else on the uh, comment strip? Maybe it makes sense to send another message to the developer mailing list to think people. Maybe somebody will come up with more ideas. Okay. Because, yeah, there are a few items on the roadmap uh, which could constitute uh, a thing to announce. Uh, but yeah, it's something to discuss with. Uh, uh, maintainers, so some of pipelines, YAML, definitely a lot to joke about there. The, uh, but yeah, um, uh, maybe for a million at least. Okay, anything else? Nothing for me. Thanks, okay, Ray. Yeah, and then just a quick update about the trademark uh, pages. So thanks to Mark, uh, trademark pages have been moved uh, to the Jenkins IO website. So basically this is a uh, action item which we had at this in, uh, uh, what, uh, well, in May or so. And now the wiki pages we had, uh, they actually are represented on Jenkins IO. Basically this, uh, the content which has been moved from wiki. Now it's patchable, but it needs some revision. 
and also yeah, we need to update a uh, proof of trademark usage page because there is a backlog including the recent request. No. Yeah, at least now we have everything on Jenkins IO. So thanks, Mark. Okay, and yeah, later we should actually check what else is left on uh, Wiki. But yeah, I assume that uh, almost all government stocks have been uh, already moved uh, to the JAPS uh, or to the website. So maybe we will be able to just shut down the entire section by redirects. Now, oh, like one thing was we we had approved, I believe, two trademark usages that are not on the new page. Are you okay if I take the action to propose those and then you'll see them as part of the governance review process? Yeah, that's fine. Or you can okay. just leave it uh, with me because I have another action item uh, because yeah, last spring Jenkins rule was approved and it's also oh. yet to appear today. Okay, so I'll leave, I'll leave that to you then. That's great. Yeah. If you already were going to make another change, wonderful. Yeah, so... Well, actually, I wanted to, I had an action item even to move this data. Thanks to Mark, uh, he was able to do it first. Okay. Uh, yeah. So if somebody wants uh, to approve more trademarks, last, uh, at the last meeting, we, uh, has reached, um, we have reached consensus that we want to, to proceed with adopting the limits of trademark usage policies. So it means that um, a number of patterns uh, basically become almost pre-approved. So until we formally vote on the process, there is no pre-approved trademarks. Uh, but yeah, from what I understand, uh, even in the current state, uh, if you follow the Linux Foundation trademark usage policies, uh, for example, these patterns, uh, the, the trademark usage approval basically is rubber stamping. Um, yeah, once we have uh, this policy officially adopted, then we, we can even say that it's automatic. Because, well, there is no particular reason uh, to build the process around that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any comments, questions on trademarks? Okay. Uh, yeah, so basically, God, I think it's just here. And the yeah, next meeting, uh, so it will happen uh, according to the usual schedule, so it's uh, November something, right? Yeah, I can check what is uh, calendar day, but yeah. It's November 4th? 4th, right. Okay. Uh, and it's, this is 6 p.m. UTC. So for those who haven't yet had the uh, winter time uh, uh, change, um, yeah, the time may change, but uh, yeah, the meeting remains in UTC. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything else uh, to discuss today? Uh, I have missed it. I assume LTS baseline selection will continue to happen by email under Oliver Gonch's guidance as the release officer, right? Mm, so unless communicated otherwise, yes. Great. Uh, so yeah, if Oliver uh, decides uh, to step down uh, early, I believe it's totally possible. And I believe that the release team can handle the process so that uh, Oliver can focus uh, on uh, other things. Uh, which is totally understandable. Um, but yeah, the, uh, until it's communicated or decided, uh, basically business as usual. And I guess the main, most important thing right now is uh, which consensus. And currently there are two candidates, 2.258, which is quite old, and uh, 63 is the bold assumption that uh, nothing explodes. So right now community ratings are quite good. I'm going to switch my testing cluster to 2.263 today or tomorrow so that, yep. uh, yeah, I, I want to be able to give feedback there as well. Thanks. Yeah, I switched yesterday. So for my home setups, everything works fine on both Linux and Windows. I also changed uh, my uh, Linux, 
sorry, my Jinx fell around our test setup. They're not everything is smooth. But yeah, as far as I can tell, it's a problem on the Jenkins file runner side, not on the Jenkins core side. So it's not something which would nearly justify uh, going with the older version. Even I haven't tested on 58. Mm -hmm. So do you have anyone who is using Jenkins or can deploy or provide feedback or at least vote for selection, please do so. I guess we won't have a final conclusion today, but uh, sometime this week. And after that, we will still have almost six weeks uh, to stabilize uh, the release if we experience any issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? No. 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 Mm -hmm. Then thanks everyone, and I guess this is the first time in a couple of months when we finish on time. Thank you, Oleg. Yeah. Bye, everybody. So thank you, everybody. Yeah. See you in two weeks. See you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.